Hey everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back. So this is my second attempt at making a video. We're going to see how this one goes. My first attempt, I'll show you. We were working in this book, this color by number Christmas mosaics by Sun Life Drawing, the extended edition. We were working on Mr. Llama slash Alpaca. And that was going okay. But I don't know if it's because this page doesn't actually have a lot of colors on it. They're just a lot of the same repeated colors in different places because it's a mosaic. I don't know if because I didn't have enough to focus on because I was just doing the same color or what, but I just, I got really anxious and it wasn't, it wasn't a good vibe. Um, it just, it didn't vibe well and it um, didn't make for a good video. And I thought about posting it anyway because I did go to the trouble of making it. Not that it was that much trouble. It was like only 20 minutes and, but, you know, I don't want to put out content that I think could have been better. And I'm like that with everything I do. I hate putting things out into the world that I feel like I didn't do my best on. So we're going to try this again and we're going to switch books. We're going to do this color by number Christmas mandala book. This is by Sound Life Drawing, yeah? Yeah. Um, I have not colored in this book. I think... I think, I think, I think I'm going to use markers. I've been using those Crayola, these Crayola twistables for like everything lately. So I think we're going to take a break and do, um, hang on, I need a page protector or something. Here we go. That's my chair squeaking. I probably apologize for that at least once a video. I need to I need to flip the chair upside down and probably give it some WD-40 or something. Actually, it might not even need that. There's this place. Um, let me grab the colors while I'm talking here. There's this place in my chair that... Um, where it's metal against metal. And it just, if you stick like a piece of paper in there, is that dark brown? Yeah. If you stick a piece of paper in there, then it, um, it keeps them from rubbing up against each other. So I might, that might've just worn through. So I might need to do that again. Um, I haven't used these markers in a long time. These are my favorite markers, if any of you are new. They don't really seem to make them anymore. Which is very sad. You might still be able to get them in like the 50 set, but they used to sell them in smaller sets and they don't anymore. Wow, we use a lot of colors in this one page. That's odd. Dark green. Uh, what do I want to do for blue? Let's do light blue, blue, dark blue. Okay, we've got basically a rainbow here, which does not scream Christmas to me, but we're just, we're going to go for it anyway. Now, can you see? Yes, you can. Let's start in the center with number 11, which is yellow. We'll see if any of these need to be replaced. I do have some backup um, markers behind me. I got a set of these used on eBay. Do I want to just jump over here? Yeah, let's jump to these stars. Anyway, I got a package of these used on eBay and they all worked um, for a pretty good deal. So now I'm, I'm going through, I have like, 
I have like three backup sets of these markers. And I'm, I'm starting with the, um, the set I got from eBay to use those up first since I don't know how old they are. Since they were used. I think they were only missing like one color and it was the black, which I hardly ever use. So that was, that was nice. Now I've got a bunch of these markers to use up and I need to use them up before they dry up because that would be a shame if I didn't. I may have overbought, honestly. I should have said this first thing. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day, whatever day it is for you, wherever you are. Okay, so I think I'm done with the yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to nine, which is orange. Excuse my sniffling. I just ordered the new Jen Racine Christmas coloring book. Very excited about that. I love her artwork. Oh, doing a very good job staying in the lines. Been, it's been a while since I've worked with markers. For a while I was really into um, my Ohuhu brush um, alcohol markers. But um, for some reason I just stopped wanting to use those and I wanted to use pencils again, but I didn't really feel like using traditional pencils and having to sharpen them and all of that. So I went with the Crayola Twistables. I hope the weather is good wherever you are. It's pretty pleasant here. It's, well, my computer says it's 63. What time is it? 3.30? I don't think it's really 63. I think it's probably closer to 70. Maybe seven, maybe 65, 70, something like that. We are supposed to be getting rain tomorrow. Now, I live in Southern California. Rain is like, rain just does not happen. We're in a perpetual state of drought. And in our particular area, it just doesn't rain. And so we're getting a substantial amount of rain, like probably like an inch, you know, which to most people may not be a lot of a lot of rain, but it's it's for us it's it's much needed. Um so that'll be cool. Although admittedly, I do hate being out in the rain. I hate being wet. So. But I've got plans tomorrow. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and be in the rain. Okay. I think that's all the nines move that marker off to the side. Wake my computer up again because it fell asleep. It throws. I've got a light right here, but the computer screens, I have two computer screens here and they throw a lot of light as well. So I, I like to keep them awake. Um, eight. Red orange. Now this is, this is the marker I use for red orange. It is not really red orange. But more like a burnt, really dark, rusty orange. But that's a color I, I really have trouble matching with water-based markers. The red-orange. I don't know if any of you guys have that trouble. 
pretty sure I can match it in alcohol marker pretty easily. But water-based is just, I don't know, for some reason seems trickier. I am going out of the lines everywhere. Okay, that was, that was eight. I don't see any more eight. So we'll put that away. Let's go to two, which was gray. We're gonna use this light gray. Maybe. Yeah, that's okay. Doesn't contrast very well with all this shading. Well, so far I'd say this video is going heaps better than the previous one. I don't know what was going on with me. I just, I got so anxious as soon as I turned the camera on. Let's go with 10 yellow orange. You can see I've got a sweater on today. It's because actually <laughs> I've gone through a roller coaster of temperatures today. I was fine most of the day. It was, it was sunny and it was nice. And then, so the, today's Sunday the 6th. And last night was when the time changed. Well, we ate lunch at a normal time, but somehow my body didn't adjust to snack time being later. And so it was 2.30 and my body thought it was 3.30. I had the worst blood sugar drop that I've had in forever like I was I was so hot I was sweating I just I could not cool off so I finally realized that it was because I needed food I thought it was just like a hot flash or something but it, I needed food so I ate sat under the fan for a while And then, um, then I was okay. And then I came back over to my house and made myself a smoothie with frozen um, berries, which instantly cooled off my internal body temperature. Um, I love frozen smoothies because I just it cools me down so much. So had that. Had some other snacks, you know. I tend to overeat a little bit when my blood sugar drops because I'm trying to overcompensate quickly. But I'm, I'm better now and now I'm actually cold from the smoothie. So I've gone from being extraordinarily hot to Pleasantly cozy. I've got a lot of um, hard appointments coming up. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate their dentist appointments. Um, I have, it's just a genetic problem with my mouth. It's not my fault or anything it's I've been told recently it's not my fault um, um, you know I brush twice a day I floss I do all that I just um my mouth is decaying super quick and um, I've already lost one tooth I'm gonna have another tooth pulled let's do 17 Um, and I'm going to have to have a few more teeth pulled. And then I guess eventually I'll get implants. But I'm pretty shaken up. 
Oh, that is very blue. Is this really blue? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty shaken up about the whole thing. I don't go back until after Thanksgiving was the earliest appointment that my dentist had. We're going to try and finish this page, you guys. We never finish a page, do we? But we're going to try and finish it. I'd say we're about, we're almost halfway after we finish these blue trees. I think we're halfway done. We're having Thanksgiving at our house this year, which is kind of unheard of. I think we had, we had Thanksgiving like at our house maybe once or twice since we moved here. We moved here like nine years ago. God, it's really been nine years. Hang on. Yeah been nine years it'll be nine years or it just maybe just turned nine years pardon all the coloring outside of the lines I'm just not very good at this <laughs> uh, I color all the time you think I would be and I've been coloring for years I've basically been coloring since I was little and I actually think it bothers me less now that I'm older than when I was little. I think it would have bothered me a lot when I was little with my OCD. I think it when it was worse, I think that would have bothered me a lot, but I just don't care anymore. For me, it's not about perfection, it's about the process and if I'm enjoying it, doesn't matter if I go outside the lines. Okay, what color was that? I can't even see anymore. 17, are there any more 17s? Nope. Okay, let's color the trunk of the trees, that's dark brown. Like I said, it's November 6th. Have any of you started decorating for Christmas? Do we have any early Christmas people here? I'll volunteer that I have started decorating for Christmas. Um, I love Christmas. I love... I don't know that I really have a favorite holiday. Christmas is right up there. Um, um, 14. 14. Dark green. I haven't done much. I put out, I decorated. I have a, I have a wood um, slice from a tree on my, like a trivet on my um, island. And I put some Christmas candles and a little tree on there. And then I put up my, I put up my Christmas tree. I haven't decorated it. It's just up. And it's pre-lit, so it's already got lights. And um, this marker's running out. Oh, 
we're gonna use it anyway and just color in extra see how far we get we might need I might need to might need to have you guys wait for a second while I get a fresh marker but we're gonna see if we can finish this I don't think we're going to be able to finish all these trees. I've got the rest of my Christmas decorations and bins out on my patio. Which I will need to bring inside tonight before it rains. And I don't really have a good place to put them, so that's that'll be fun probably in my hallway, which my hallway is not very big. I just, it's, it's a standard hallway width, but it's, there's not a lot of extra room to walk around in there. watching a lot of YouTube lately. I haven't been watching TV shows or reading or doing anything like that, which is unfortunate because I think those things are good for me, but I just haven't felt like it. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube. Um, I keep getting recommended things like true crime stuff because those are really popular. And I've watched a couple, and of course now that's all I'm getting recommended is true crime. But I'm not sure if I like it. I used to like true crime. Um, but I'm a bit more... Um, I don't know, my heart is a bit more soft than it used to be. Like, my brain can't take too much violence, and, um, and you know, a lot of these true crime things are violent and hard to wrap your head around. So I don't know, oops, I don't know if I'm going to continue to, I'm curious to finish a couple ones I've started because I'm kind of invested in the story now and I need to know what happens, but... Okay, we finished the trees with this one marker. And you can probably hear how hard I'm pushing to try and get color out of here. I'm gonna put this one aside over here and make sure to grab a new one um, for the next time we color. Okay, so 13 is just green. How long have we been doing this? 23 minutes? That's not bad. We should be done by 30 minutes. some of you depending on where you are have have already or are about to get snow that's pretty wild if I lived up north still that would that wouldn't have been all that abnormal sometimes we had snow around Thanksgiving um, Here, I don't I don't know when the snow gets low enough into the mountains. I 
I guess with this storm, it probably will. I think, I think the weatherman said that the Sierras would be getting some snow. I don't know much, much about anything geographically though. So, so it doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but snow is good. I know snow runoff in particular is good because it helps fill the reservoirs. Yellow green. I'm helping make dinner tonight. Not much, not much help. Um, we have leftover chicken strips in the fridge, and we're going to toss them in barbecue sauce and cook them back in the oven. Make, make them crispy again. And I'm gonna make some, a pasta side dish. For my beloved pasta company that went out of business, that is just heartbreaking. So as some of you know, I'm gluten-free and dairy-free. Um, and there was this one brand called Modern Table and they sold gluten-free, dairy-free pasta side dishes. They had mac and cheese, they had Parmesan and herb, and they had Alfredo. The Alfredo was the bomb. Just absolutely perfect. Best dairy-free Alfredo I've ever had. And their mac and cheese was also very good. And the Parmesan and herb was pretty good. But they had a good run for, you know, a handful of years, but something went wrong and, you know, they're not, they're not there anymore. They just disappeared. And, um, I hope one day they consider selling their recipes to another company so that someone else can produce some of this stuff. But for now, we're just going to work off of the horde of pasta that we have in the basement. So tonight we're having Parmesan and herb. Okay, we're down to these two colors. Are these the right colors? Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, 16 and 18. So let's do 16. This blue that I'm using right here is actually one of the highlighter colors that this set comes with. But I think it works perfect. I think it works perfect as a light blue. What time is it right now? 3.50, okay. If we've got time to finish this. This will be my longest video in quite a while. Oh yeah, so I kind of got sidetracked. We're doing um, Thanksgiving at my house. and Or at my parents' house. And my aunt and uncle are coming over. And my great uncle is probably going to be here too. Um, this will be his first year without his wife, so we're hoping he'll, um, join us. So he'll be with family if he feels up to it. I 
I hear lots of stuff outside my house. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's something to do with the trash bins. They're right outside this this wall. Well, I'm so glad that we got to finish a page together and that this video went so much more smoothly than the last one. I'm gonna delete the last one. There's just no point in posting it and making everybody uncomfy. <laughs> it was obvious that I was uncomfortable and I don't want anybody else to pick up on that and feel uncomfy. I think I'm going to be sticking with color by numbers for quite a while. Except for that generous scene book I got. That one isn't color by number. They're pretty simple images from what I, I looked for a flip through and I found one. They're pretty simple images and quick, they'd be quick to do. Okay, let's sign it. This pen is running out too. And we're done. I think it looks great. There's a whole book of these. There's lots to do. How many did it say? 22. I oh, know it's 22 color palette. 30. I've got so many Christmas coloring books now. I bought so many this year. So I'm just going to have to keep making videos and getting lots done. I want to put them to good use. I don't want them to sit around like they did last year and I didn't color anything. So thank you for being here. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. Um, a good week, because this probably won't go up on Sunday, so it'll be during the week sometime. So I hope you all have a good week, and stay warm, and I will see you all next time. Bye!